Hey guys, hey there, my name is Cheese and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be reacting to Karakuri Circus episode 33. Yeah, things are really heating up. Everyone is getting ready for battle. We see the traveling circus getting ready for battle. But now the twins are ready to fight the Automata, which looks exactly like their mother that died in the past. And now Pantalone and Arlecchino are also ready to fight one of those new Quattro Pioneers. So yeah, things are really exciting. I'm also really afraid of what might or is gonna happen. So I don't know if I'm mentally and emotionally prepared for this episode because the previous few episodes just made me tear up over and over again. So it might happen once again in this episode. I hope not, we will see. In any case, I really cannot wait to watch this episode. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So let's go. All right, I'm ready. So I'm gonna start the episode in three, two, one. The spider automata. And those two, yeah. <gasps> yeah. Especially the last one, come back alive. Oh. I'm really not ready for this. <laughs> now, that, now that I've seen the recap, I don't know if I'm gonna be ready for all of this. Because, you know, all these characters are so likeable and for some of these characters, I've just developed so many feelings. Especially Pantalone and Arlecchino, who used to be enemies. I've really grown to like them. And also the twins, I really like them from the very beginning. But especially after knowing their backstory and stuff. Oh, I just hope so much that nothing bad is gonna happen. But you never know with Karakuri Circus, you just, you just don't. <laughs> Okay, here we go. The Ma Nakamachi Trio versus Lady Spider. So, okay, so yeah, this episode is really gonna be focused on those three. Gross. Rocks.
I mean, so far, Fu has been spot on with everything he said, so... <laughs> and she's watching all confused. <laughs> Oh no, what are they planning? I just don't trust any of this. <laughs> They're separating themselves from Shogun and Narumi. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Oh no, what are they gonna do? No!
Oh my god. Oh no, 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 it didn't work. No. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. They're not going to die from this. No, 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 no. Um. Please don't be dead, don't be dead. Please don't be dead. Oh yeah, here we go, <laughs> the, the other battle. It wasn't just fire. <laughs> oh yeah Oh 
yeah! <laughs> um, excuse me? Um... Oh, he has a few rockets. Oh no. He just give oh, he's just so creepy. Really though? Okay, that's just just weird. So what is his point? Just, oh my god, such a long story. <laughs> and he's saying like, oh my god. Dream on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, that whole dream is ridiculous. He's ridiculous. Can we just move on? Just beat him up already. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my. He's mocking him. Oh my god, they were eavesdropping. <laughs> Make dead. But now what? He didn't... Yeah, everyone's already long gone. Oh! <gasps> no, 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 get that suitcase before... Oh, no. Oh, that was an amazing episode. The quality of this episode was really good. You know, that's just one thing about this series that I cannot complain about. The quality, it has always been really good. Like, some at some times or some moments it was better than others, but overall, it's been... Yeah, it has been actually quite good. Especially this episode. Yeah, I was really happy with the quality of the animation in this episode. Um. Every time I see Guy, <laughs> it makes me tear up again. Okay, so that was episode 33 of Karakuri Circus. We got a lot of action in this episode. I, yeah, I think like 90% of this whole episode was action. We first saw those three, um, those three from Circus against Spider Lady. And in the second half, we saw Pantalone and Arlecchino fight against those other two from, from the new generation. And yeah, both parts were really 
really good. You know, just to see this three from the circus in action, you know, there was less fighting because they're not much of a fighters, but there it was much more about strategy and smart thinking and, you know, also relying on food strategy and yeah, that's how they managed to beat Spider Lady, but you know, they went down with that whole train, so the question is still whether they survived that fall or not. You know, it's not impossible to survive that thing, so there's still a chance that they that they might be alive. At least, I, I just hope that they're alive. I, until I see that dead bodies, or until it got confirmed that they're dead, I'm just not gonna think that they're dead yet. I'm just still hoping that they are alive. But yeah, then we shifted to Pantalone and Arlecchino and they had more trouble with the fight because the new generation is just way stronger. So yeah, Pantalone got all beaten up uh, without being able to defeat that Jester guy and Arlecchino as well. He did his best with those shockwaves but that wasn't enough to defeat that that um, I don't even know what he's called, the, 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 the martial arts automata, which turned out to be full of rockets, so so yeah, both actually failed their mission, their final and only mission they got from Eleonore, which is actually quite sad, you would hope or think that they would be able to accomplish it and win the battle, but unfortunately, you know, it just turned out differently. But yeah, I'm just really happy, especially with Pantalone, to see that he got so much more human. He really understood Eleonore as well. And I don't know, just these developments from them, I just really, really respect it. They just got more human, even though they're still automata and they don't feel any emotions. But just because of the time they spend with Eleonore and those other people, they just started to understand human emotions more or better. So, you know, we saw him really laugh in the end like a human because of the automata, the jester guy. So that was just, I really, really enjoyed it just to see that whole development of them, even though it's just the last we would see from him, unfortunately. You know, I just. I also didn't really expect that Pantalona would survive until the end. He was already really damaged and he was up against a really tough opponent. So I kind of expected that it was that this would be his last battle. But I still hope that he would be able to defeat those the new generation as well. So that's just a thing I'm just a little bit sad about. But overall, I just love this episode. Yeah, Shirogane and Narumi are the only ones left on the train and just a guy already got up to them. So yeah, there are just a few more episodes left and we still have to see Faceless who is still in the space shuttle or the moon or where, wherever he is in space. So yeah, there's still a lot of things that need to happen but we only have like a couple of episodes left. So yeah, we'll see how everything is gonna and we still have Masaru, of course, who's also there somewhere. So yeah, I really can't wait to watch the next episode. But that was my reaction. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you could see my other reaction videos, feel free to check out my channel. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.